Hello and welcome to the Knights of the Smith Dinner Table Real Play video of Extinction Curse, where tonight we will hopefully either all die or finish the first book of Extinction Curse. And if you've been with us this long, you know that this adventure has been brutal. And it's not just us who think so. It's all over Reddit. It's all over the forums. It is a brutal adventure, hands down. And without further ado, I will turn it over to our game master, Mr. Mike Lawson. Hello, everyone. Yes, this has been brutal. I've even commented on it on a couple of message threads about the brutality that is this. And Pathfinder 2 is statistically a lot harder to die than Pathfinder 1. But we've found a way to do it. Several and times. And that's why... <laughs> That's why tonight it is TPK or finish. <laughs> when when last we left off, you guys had found a untouched room that had no trace of troglodytes, actually had dust on the floor. You then discovered that the reason there was no dust elsewhere was because of a gelatinous cube hmm. that you had an intimate encounter with. <laughs> Forgot about the yeah. damn cube, the fucking yeah. jello cube. <laughs> and uh, uh, so you were back in that room and debating on whether or not to push on or shore up and rest and lick your wounds for a little bit. So what's the plan, guys? Well, uh, everybody HP wise. Then we heal up. I have I'm going to school. School, so. I know um, you had used all of your font of healing. I don't know what right. other spells you had used. I haven't used any spells. Only cantrips. Right, but we don't have any healing capabilities right now. We got, what, two potions for the group and my one regen. I'm at full right now, um, but I'm still fatigued, so I can't rage. Uh so I need to rest and get that taken care of. I have one of my first level spells is heal, but that's it. And my wand. So. Nah, Did you, you ever you get that mended after you pushed it the day before with your dying party? I thought we did. Maybe we didn't. No, because the person mm -hmm. who was able to cast mending died. Okay, mm -hmm. then no. Okay. So, so if, you, if somebody has a repair kit on them, it could take some time and have Stanley that repair as well. It. Did Tristan have a repair kit on him? I've got uh, him he did not because he had the mending spell. He didn't need the right, repair I, kit. Uh, he used the repair kit, I think, once because he had one to start with, right? Uh, let me open his sheet up. I thought when you when we began it, you used it, but I forget if you used the mend or... The repair kit on my hammer when it broke. I used mend on your weapon. Yep, I, he I used thought mend. you had a repair kit, but could have no. Nope. After I got mend, I think I sold it. Okay, gotcha. Because I didn't need it with mend. Right. So yeah, can't fix the wand yet. So that's up to our caster and you guys if you want to rest. I'm good to fight, but. Yeah, I'd like to have a full night's rest if you're close to it. Please. All right. I'll take first watch. I can take second watch. I'll do the last watch. Okay, so bunk it down here. Um, before we bunk, okay, you said there was no dust outside, right? Correct. Like the floors. So I, I don't have to worry about clearing any signs of us passing. No, the the floors. Once you are past those stone pillars that the Zolgoths erected, the floors were super clean, as if something that dissolved organic matter continuously patrolled that area. <laughs> Wonder what that was. No idea. Um, did anybody make a? An occult knowledge check on that? I Not I. Did. No. Okay. I don't know. I even have a cult. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, I do have a cult. I guess I can. I can. Um, that's decent. 
eight, so eighteen. And 18. twenty-three for me. Twenty-three? Yeah, you guys know now that you're thinking about it, gelatinous cubes can dissolve organic materials. Um, so flesh, bone, things of that nature. But stone and metal, they have a hard time. So that's probably why the Zolgas had those stone pillars erected. Gotcha. All right, so we're hunkering down, and we have four watches. Okay. So I still get my new regents for the next day, right? Correct. Yep, you're you're fully resting. Uh, any regent you didn't use is expired. They don't carry over. And during the first watch, who's got that watch? Me. Give me a reflex save as the tower shakes. Ooh, 17 on the die for a grand total of 29. You managed to keep your feet, and it wasn't really enough of a tremor to wake <clears throat> anybody up. It was just since you were up and moving, you were able to feel that tremor um, as the tower just shakes for just real quick, and then it stops. It's a little bit stronger than the last time it happened, but just a little dust shifts from the ceiling. And just with that, nothing else happens. All right. I'm so, ready to uh, scout things out again. Everyone who's got, you know, um, who's down hit points, heal up a little bit. I forget what long rest heals you up for. Uh, the fatigue is gone because you did not get your rest interrupted. Hmm. It's con modifier times level. Oh, yeah. I'm fully healed then. Me as well. All right. So you're going out scouting. Which way are you scouting? Which way do you guys want to go? Didn't we come from the north? We came from the north, yes. And there were stairs across the way. <laughs> I'm going to have my bow out right now. Um, I don't care which way we go. We can clear out this as we go. Or Yeah, well, I say we at least clear out this floor. I'm squaring out this floor. There's anything left to get through. Okay. And somebody's got a torch lit. I do. All right. Drag yourself on whatever way you're scouting. All right, you guys want to go check out the stairs or head to the south? Check out the stairs. And then I'll stay 30 feet behind Arthro, trying to cover him with my bow. And for my stealth, 13 on the die, uh, 25. Okay, everybody else moving stealthy? Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. I had a six. <laughs> uh, 18. Go to 19. How does that plant make so much damn no damn noise? I'm clumsy. She's a she's a gourd and has something rattling around in her head. Axe. All right. So you enter this room. 
Uh, this room has a sloped ceiling at the eastern end, which accommodates a staircase that's ascending steeply upward from the middle of the room. Round alcoves to the north and south each bear stone dioceses with the booted feet of a statue, but both statues are broken off at the shins. And it is a steep staircase. All right. We go up now or check to the south. After I give this room a good thorough searching with a... Perception plus eight. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Um, this room is wiped clean as if a certain friend of yours had been cubing it up. Although, also, the stairs look like they have been worn down from years of such creatures coming and going. Basically, um, a steep ramp more than a staircase at this point. Do you guys uh, just want to? I still think we should check out the rest of this uh, uh, place to the south or descending. Ascending. Ascending, is it going up? Yeah, stairs are going up. Yeah, I would like to clear this floor first. That's what the yellow arrow means. Oh, oh, okay. Red is down. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, so I'll move this away. He is staying back. All right, I'm moving quietly. Um, do you guys want to follow the expert? Yes. Are you yep. following the expert rather than searching? I'm searching. Well, I'm not searching yet. I'm stealthing at the moment, but. Right. But you, they can't follow the expert if you're uh, searching. Valid point. All right. <clears throat> then I am searching. They're on their own. Look at us using new mechanics. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, so far, yeah. everything looks clear. Okay, guys. Looks like we got a choice of left or straight ahead. I'll move. Keep Stanley in view. Which way? Where we go, we're following you. I'm just the scout. As you get to that crossroad, at the edge of your torchlight, the the floor there is covered in bat guano. Like the the clean floor, literally, there's just a line of demarcation where the the line of the square is, where the you must not have went forward at that point. Oops. Um, well. And then you guys want to go. It looks like the floor has collapsed beyond that because you can see that with your torch light. Well, you're right. You guys just want to keep going straight forward then? I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right. To the north, you see the stones that were placed by the Zolgaths previously from that first room you guys came into where your friends died brutally. Not you, Artho. You didn't know anybody then. Um, to the south, again, um, floor collapses, 
and there's a decided stop line of where the floor is pristinely smooth and clean to covered in bat shit. Hmm. Not gonna lie. I'm not one to want to crawl around in bat shit. Me neither. No. So back to the steps? Yeah. Works for me. Now that is a very steep staircase. What was that so, statue there? Uh, they were of ankles, big feet. Is that an occult check? Um, yeah, you can make an occult check. Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen. You know this was originally. <laughs> dedicated to Aradin um, on either side of this broken off at the shins there could have just been a giant statue straddling the staircase so that has broken over the years gotcha. and as you get to the staircase rain begins to fall inside inside like right now it is just storming Hmm. no lightning but just heavy rainfall that's That's gonna make going up these stairs just a little bit harder yeah all right i'll start plotting my way well shouldn't say plotting moving carefully up the stairs um searching for the traps and anything so that way I don't trigger another yep. one. I will keep your search check going and I need a balance check. So acrobatics. Yes. Um, I just made this look easy, I bet. 19 on the die plus 12 is 31. 31? Nice. That is a critical <clears throat> success. Yeah, you're very sure-footed going <laughs> up this steep I got stairwell. a 21. 21, you're able to move up at half speed. Okay. Are you waiting for them to catch up, or are you going all the way up? Uh, I'll wait to cross out of the stairwell until they've caught up. And a 12. 12, you are... Uh, give me another acrobatics check. 18. 18? Okay. You didn't take any damage, but you <laughs> tried to clamber up the stairs and fell. Stanley? <laughs> Can I attempt to aid Sprout as I go up? I got a 24 for mine. 24 for yours. You're able to get up there, Sprout. Now, give me a, a balanced uh, an, an acrobatics to aid as well. That was a 23. Okay, so you get a plus two to this roll. Okay, so that made it a 17. (laughs) Yep, you're not able to scramble up this steep, wet incline. Okay. Yeah, that random rainstorm made it the DC jump up by five. Can I attempt to help her again? Are you going down, back down the stairs to help her? Yeah, that's fine. We need her up there. Okay. Uh, what are you doing while this is going on, Artho and Shorty? I am going to peek my head around. Okay. So I'll bump uh, I'm head. just going to ready my weapon. Um, just kind of, kind of uh, stand in the ready, I guess, behind Artho. Okay. Well, as you peek around the corner... Give me a perception check. Ooh. 
18 on the die, so 26. 26, all right. You hear some sibilant speech coming from the left, speaking to each other in hushed tones. And then... Is it in Draconic? It is not. It is in Undercommon. Ah, I don't speak that. You speak Undercommon? And then you also hear this... The only word I can use to describe it is a wet sound coming from the right. And you actually hear the the to- talking over the, the rain, and then there's just this sucking s- slurp-type sound coming from the right. Someone's in there having a good time. Um. <clears throat> All right. Stanley, what was your role to aid? I really wish light traveled uh, between 18. levels. 18. 18. All right. Sprout, no aid. I got 16. 16. You're still stymied <laughs> by these stairs. Would I be able to use my powerful leap feet for this? Since it lets me go vertical, too. Yeah, you could, you could leap it. Um, Would it get me to the top to do that? No, it's okay. it's quite steep and goes up maybe gotcha. 75 feet. All right, well, then I will tie 50. It goes up 75 feet? Yeah. Are you just going to drag her? Um, well, I'll tie 100 foot of rope <laughs> together, and then I will help pull her up gently. But I'll try to leap up however many times I need to, I guess, just to do athletics instead. That's a twenty-four. Twelve plus twelve. Okay. And then a sixteen <laughs> plus twelve is a twenty-eight for the second one. All right, you bound up the stairs. And then, do I need to do checks to pull her up, or nope, sprout? Kind of it's just going to lower her DC since you're just. Assisting, not yanking. Sprout, what? Give me that roll. Eight. What was that? Eight. <laughs> Eight. Uh, I'm just gonna pull her. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, grab go- the rope. I have Are you gonna resist this? <clears throat> Are you gonna resist, Sprout? Me no. You? Okay. All right. Give I'm me. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Shorty, are you gonna help him out there, or just yeah, I'll, I'll give him a, I'll give her a little tug. <laughs> All right, roll, just a athletics check, both of you. Nineteen plus twelve, so enough. Uh, <laughs> I got uh, uh, twenty six. Okay, so yeah, 31. that's decidedly enough. You <clears throat> yank her up. And the fun thing about the rain is it kind of turns it into a slide, so she's not going to take any damage from getting mm-hmm. yeah. upstairs. Nice. As well as at the top of the stairs and then further down, as this rain continues, there's now about six inches of water <clears throat> standing and then just pouring down the stairs. Um, it is difficult terrain. Mm. Good, good. good. And it just seems to be flooding more and more. All right, we need to go somewhere. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, now that y'all decided to join us up here, that way, people are speaking. <clears throat> that way, sounds like maybe ogres having sex. Well, let's go over there then. No, uh, I mean, no. Let's not do that. Desna knows I'm not one to judge, but boy. <laughs> um, 
does the laughs. Yeah. Right, well, where do you guys want to go over. first? Yeah. Now, is it raining up in this area that... Yes. This is all difficult terrain. Do we see anywhere where the rain stops or it all is <clears rain? throat> Nope. Well, it's as if somebody set off the sprinklers. If they're talking that way, that means they're above water. If it's only wet sounds down there, that could be someone drowning. And I prefer uh, to drown. Yeah. You guys choose. I'd go north or whichever way towards the voices, which is north, right? All right. Works I will for me, I guess. Move quietly to the north, keeping an eye out for traps and such. So I'm moving really slow. <laughs> mm hmm. Um. Yep, that's what it was. Uh, 20 total on the stealth. All right. Well, as you get to there, the voices cut off, and there are three Zolgaths that are looking at you because you're carrying a torch. Yep. <laughs> Man's got to uh, see. So we're going to need a Are initiative. they the ones from 14? Uh, no, they are the ones that should be from t G10. I don't remember. In there. You said three? Yep, just three bile bearers. Yeah, they look like they were looking uh, at that glowing circle, but then uh, a torch where there shouldn't have been a torch caught their attention. And Artho, what's your initiative? <laughs> um, 18. Sprout? 28. <laughs> Bugsy? 10. <laughs> Roll to one. Stanley? 14 plus 8, 22. Okay, and then the three <coughs> is the last. Man. I'll be so glad to have my sinus surgery and not have all this drainage all the time. When's, when are you doing that? 24th of July. Nice. All right, Sprout. Um, you get to go first. Oh, well, yeah. Um, yeah, I want to... Get everybody off the steps. Yep. Pull everyone off the steps, and then it is difficult terrain. Well, you know, I would like to. I can't see them, can I? Oh, let me no. shut off vision of those who can't. You can see not, one of them. Oh, okay. Oh. No, 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 no. Nope. Never mind. That's fine. Um, so, when you cast Forbidding Ward, do do both parties you're casting on have to be within the thirty feet? Yes. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. Um. I guess. Um. I just want to delay. Delay. All right. Let me know when something happens that you want to do. All right. Number one is going to move forward. Um, Let me turn my vision on back on so you can see. Yes, please. <clears throat> oh, 25 feet. Okay. So moving forward two squares. Is this way? Sp yep. And then I'll use a second action to move diagonal 
So he'll go there. And then he will throw a dagger with his third action. And also, you were within 30 feet. So anyone within 30 feet of that guy, give me a fortitude save. 15, 20, 20, 25, 30. It's just me and Shorty. But that 17 will miss with the dagger. Stanley. 16 on the die for a grand total of uh, 23 on the port for me. Okay, you're good. Total of 20. You're also good. Um, I will stride to the right side of the hall so I can get a line of sight on somebody. So, like, somewhere in here. Just a second. Um, What's your movement speed? Uh, 25. Okay. Five. That's ten. That was five. Ten. Sorry, okay. you're right. That's yep. fine. I can, I can stay there. Um, and then I will mark that one as my target, or as my prey. Or, hold on, wait. Let me make sure that's how... It was hunted shot two actions. New to that one. 65 feet is the range. <clears throat> okay, so it'd be out of my increment by one. So I do. Did I still have movement to step one more? Yep. Okay, yeah, then I'll move up so it's in my range. Um, let me just double check my hunted shot. Hunted shot is one action. It's one action, but two shots. Okay, I just yep. want to make sure. So I'll mark as my prey and then hunted shot on that one with my right OB. So that is an 18 for the first one, and a minus three, so 20 for the second one. All right, 18 for the first, 20 for the second. Both shots will connect. Both hit, so that is 1d6 plus two. That's three, and six points of total damage, because that was minimum on both. That's to number two there. All right. Well, you shot him. Artho. All right. So I see he that threw guy a there. dagger at you. <clears throat> yep. Five, 10, 20. So that would be two movements to get to him. And. Safe to assume I had my dagger out, or not dagger out, rapier out, right? Yes. I will stab this guy. 15 on the die for a total of 26. Hits. For five damage. All right. Number two there is going to take two stride actions to go 10, 10 20, 30, oh, 40, 45, 50. Uh, move them over one. 50. And then his last action, he'll throw a dagger. But apparently the dice aren't liking that tonight. That was a 19 on the die. Number three I guess ten, twenty, thirty, forty. And then we'll stop there and Can I go after him? Please. Yes. But his dagger throw is a twenty four. No, twenty nine. That's to gonna hit. hit, but not a crit. Yep. You know, but I will need a fortitude save. 18 on the die. Uh, fortitude is plus 7, so 25. 25, yeah. That dagger was coated in something. And didn't feel too good, but you passed it and 7 points of damage. All right, and Sprout coming in at initiative marker 12. 
Can I do one full movement forward towards the bike? There's 10, there's 20. Okay. Uh, um, can I Let's do this? Do... Battlefield is shrinking. Damn, it's not going to work. Okay. Um, I want to cast Forbidding Ward on Artho against number one. Heard. Muggsy the Tall, what are you doing? Uh, let's see here. I uh, want to move up. Let me end it. Um, I'd like to move up right here uh, beside uh, 20, Artho. 20, 30, 40, 50, 50. Uh, you would have to use three movements three to get movements. there. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, where oh, would 30 I grabbed the wrong at? person. Oh. There we go. So is this 25 right here? Or what, what, what would my mark be? That would be Tomorrow another... Uh, let see, it would be your second diagonal. So it would be 20 more feet of movement. All right, let's go ahead and put me there next to you. And I'll just take my last action. All right, now I'm going to take my last action to uh, swing. That's three actions to get there. That would have been three moves regardless because of that difficult terrain. Oh, I forgot it was difficult terrain. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, that's fine then. All right, number one did not like getting cursed with a rapier, so he is going to try to bite back. And that would be a 29 to hit. That is a hit. All right, give me another fortitude save as the same substance that is on their dagger seems to be being secreted from his jaws. Uh, that is a natty 20. Okay, well, you're good there. You'll still take 10 points of damage. And then he's going to claw you, which will miss. And then try with his dagger for his last action. And that is a 20 to hit. That is a miss. Okay. Barely. But a Stanley. Miss. Um... <laughs> Let me take my hunted shot at my target, which I think is the unmarked one. It's Yeah, it's number three there. Yeah. The unmarked one. So that's a natural 20. Ooh. So that's a 28. Okay. And then second one is eight. So 16 minus three is 13. Whoops. <laughs> Epic 20. Hold on day. a second. Oh. Where did that come from? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I see it. Hold on. <laughs> I accidentally switched scenes. <laughs> and, and it see. wasn't even on the on the top. It wasn't the focused. Wow. And I don't know see. why it did that. All right, so first one hit, second one missed, right? Yes, first one critically hit. So can we see a piercing crit card, please? Oh, absolutely. Is it piercing or ranged? piercing because piercing. of the arrow. I haven't seen these cards in a long time. <laughs> all right. Penetrating wound. The attack ignores all resistances. If they have it. Yeah. And I believe your bow is deadly as well. Yep. Uh, Extra D10 of damage. Yes, you are right. So that's a five. So plus double two, damage so on the base seven. shot and then a D10 added. 14 for the regular damage, then a D10 are over here, right here. With another six, a 20 on the first shot, the second shot missed. Yep, second action. Um, Take another shot at him, he's my guy. So that's rough. Um, this one's at a minus six. Right, so that's a 
13 minus 6, so 7. That's a miss. Oh, that's a bad miss. Third action? Um, keep shooting. Still at a minus 6. It doesn't get any worse. Right. Uh, 19. Good. So that's a 27 minus 6, so 21. That'll hit. And that's four more points of damage. That is a dead troglodyte. Woo-hoo. Which one was it? Uh, uh, the unmarked number, number three. three there. Artho. All right. Artho is going to take advantage of this. And 10, 20... Getting the flank and attempt to stab number one. That's uh, 18 on the die for a total of 29. That will crit. All right. And right now we don't have any camera view, so I will fix that as soon as I can. All right. So. 20, 22, 24. All right. The third action. Stab him again. 14 plus 7 is going to be 21. Which will hit. Ooh, that yellow die really likes me. 13 damage total. And that is a dead Zolgoth. Well, number two's not too thrilled about this, so he's going to try to bite you, which is a 21 to hit. That is a hit. Uh, Fort save, please. 15. You are fatigued. As the poison saps into your system, and you will take... 12 points of damage from that. And then he still has one dagger out. Try to stab you. That will miss. And we'll try to stab you one more time. Actually, he'll try to claw with his last one. And that would be a 22. 22 is a hit. Because I am All easier right. to hit now. Yes. So that bumps that up to... 16 points of damage from that. And then does a 25 grab you? Against my reflex DC, yes. So you are grabbed. Just a basic success? Yes. Okay. Uh Sprout? Um, I would like to do... Uh, I look one. really beat up from that, by the way. Yeah. Um, I want to scoot forward. Can I go, like... There's 10. There's... Let's see, another diagonal. There. Yep, that's 20. Yep, that's 20. Okay. Um, and then I want... Um, I'll go ahead and do a one of my healing fonts on Arthur. Two action heal? Yes. Alright. 2d10 plus 16. I got 28. Nice. That was on me? Yep. Mugsy. Uh, let's see here. I want to step into uh, the square diagonal of me. Mm-hmm. And uh, your movement's yeah. 25, right? Yes. You could actually move to that flank with that. Okay, yeah. Um, is That's fine. Is he grabbed? Yes. Okay. 
So your uh, target well, is flat-footed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to swing at the back there of uh, number two then. So that is a um, 25 to hit. That will hit. Damage of um, 12 damage. And then, um, let's see how many actions is that actually? Should have done something else. Um, hold on a second. How many actions is uh, Titan Red, Titan Wrestler feed? Is it two action? It's no actions. It just changes what you can uh, oh. grapple, disarm, trip. Okay. What you do with it's all one action, man. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, I actually would like to try and um, grapple um, the number two. Are you dropping your greatsword to do that? Um, because you would you know have what? to drop the yeah, greatsword, right? Yeah. Um, no, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and swing again with the greatsword. My last action. There you go. Uh, let's see that. Let's see. So a total of twenty-one will hit. Nice. Uh, four four points of damage. So that was minimum damage. Good. It was four more damage than he had taken. Yeah. Stanley. Um, what's my line of sight on him? I think I can see him, but let me see who's lit up. Whoops. I think, I think it is. Ah. <coughs> and then your view. Okay. So I can't yep, see. you got line on him. Um, so I would like <clears throat> to take my first action to do a perception check behind us from that sound. That we heard okay. down the hall to make sure nobody's sneaking up on us. It's a 17. Do I hear or see anything down that way? Um, nothing other than that occasional suck slurping type sound. Okay. Um, but it's then, not gotten any louder. Okay. Um, then I will... <laughs> Do my mark and hunted shot on two. Okay. Ooh, it's a bad one. To fourteen to start. It's not good. That uh, will miss. A seventeen on the second one. That also misses. So that is my turn. Okay. Artho, you are grabbed. Um. Well, let's see here. All right. Well, he is technically grabbed two. So he is flat footed against me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and poke him with the uh, pointy end of my rapier. 24 to hit. Um, let's see. Yep, that'll hit. Um, 16 damage. As nice. I roll box cars. Has he let go of me yet? Um, one moment.
double checking one thing here real quick about the attack action. Or strike action, that's what it is. Is, is strike considered a manipulate? Um, I'll roll just to be safe. Flat check DC of five, and I got a 12. Okay, well then he's dead. Okay. And no, a strike is not a manipulate. I was just making sure you didn't have to have, like, a, a light weapon or something than that. But yeah, he's dead. You have murdered him. Oi. Those fuckers stink. They do. And again, don't forget, you are fatigued. Yep. Got it added to my conditions. I can no longer take exploration actions. Correct. And a minus one to AC and saves. It adds it right in when you add the condition. Nice. Yay, Path Builder. Yep. For the win. Are we out of... Yeah, combat is over at the moment. Um, does... Shorty and Stanley, I want to stay and watch and I can take ten minutes to heal Arthur. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I will, uh, see what we can pull off these guys, and I'm also going to recover, see if I can recover any arrows. I'll just, uh, yeah, help, help him search the room and, and search these guys that we killed. Did anybody else take damage? Because I can heal two people. No. Okay, I don't think so. You could raise the DC. I'll do that. There you go. You raise it to, I think it's 20? Yep. Roll your check. <laughs> I got a natural one. <laughs> What's the total on that? Twelve. Twelve. All right. Ouch. Yeah. Roll me a, I believe a D eight. Yeah. Ouch. And then also, I need <clears throat> a fortitude save from you, Artho. A four. As you take four points of damage over ten minutes. <laughs> Ouch, that hurts, ouch. <laughs> What's wrong with my twigs? Uh, 19 total. 19? Yeah. All right. That, the, you feel like the poison has left your system. But you are still going to be fatigued because that condition doesn't go away without rest. Um, and then I will go up to Arthro. And here's this juggernaut elixir. Try this out. You don't look so hot next time we're in a fight. I All right. And the two of you searching the room during that 10 minutes, where are you guys going? Uh, I'm just doing the bodies and recovering my arrows. And then just right. an art over them while she hurts them. I, well, I'm not going to go all the way. I'm not going to go all the way to that, whatever those markings are. I'm not going to. Okay, most of that. I'll just kind of search the other area around that. <laughs> okay. And then, James, for your reference, it's a level three juggernaut. Okay. Mutagen. So it's 10 HP and then plus two to four saves. All right. Last you 10 man minutes. You managed to find six daggers, and that's really it. Alright, I'll stow them. Just stow them. And then, Muggsy, you do notice that there is a fourth body that looks like it has splattered against that wall up to the northeastern portion of the room. Okay. Um, I suppose I will cautiously approach it and um, I will attempt to search that body. Um... That is a 19 on a perception check to check that body that's sort of splattered. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like it hit the wall with sufficient force to kill it, as well as splatter blood along the wall. Good. Um, all right, well, after finding that, I will go back to the group and tell them that there's a body that's just been sp freaking splatted. And looks like it was just a large amount of force that just made it crash into the wall and go splat. Did I get any arrows back, Mike? Uh, you managed to get four of them back. Oh, okay. Cool. So, do we want to take ten more minutes and me not roll a natural one, or does somebody want to give Arthur a potion, or <laughs> what do we want to do? Okay. Um. How's the water level in here? Is it rising anymore? Um, it's gotten to about a foot deep. And so it's everywhere we can see still, right? Correct. So it is house. raining just as hard down here as it was, or up here as it was downstairs. Mm. I mean, I don't care to take 10 more minutes. We just got to keep an eye on this water. Yeah. Okay. So this would be 30 minutes total because 10, rest 10, and then 10 on top of that. I'm okay with that because I'm, I'm still in pain. Yeah. Okay. Are you up in the DC again? Yeah. All right. What'd you get? I'm going to use my hero plane. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and reroll. Okay. I got a uh, 27. Ooh, 27? Good. So you will do your 2d8 plus 10. Wow. I got 15. <laughs> and since it took you guys about a, probably a half hour to get up the stairs, and then the fight, and then this, the rain stops. Yeah. Right. Well, anybody have any idea what these markings are? <clears throat> I don't know that. I mean, I've got me. a either, so I guess it doesn't matter. Unless it's religion. Are you getting up to them to look at them, or...? I mean, study them a little from afar to see if I even have an idea of what they are. Okay. As you're studying that, the water evaporates. Fancy. Mm. I got a 20 total on Occult or Arcana. There, those are definitely glowing runes on the floor. That's good. Yep, that's magic shit. <laughs> well, how do you guys want to proceed? So, is, is the left side where, like, the rune stopped, is that just a wall? Yes. See well. So it's just kind of like a semicircle of it? Yeah, it's, so it would be like a quarter of a circle. I'm not getting near the... Well, actually, I'll, I'll check to see if the runes are traps. So I will get close enough so that way I can... Check Give me a out. perception check. Uh, oh, 14 on the die, so 22. You know, there, there's nothing that you can see that's a trap, but there is a secret door Ooh. right <clears throat> there. I'll point it out. Oh. Well. These markings definitely look ominous. I mean... 
aren't you supposed to be the one who uh, <laughs> plays Meat Shield? And I suppose, but uh, there's no thing in being a Meat Shield and just being stupid. Contrary to popular belief. So what does everybody want to do? Uh, no, open the, door the runes there. aren't trapped. Not that I can see. Oh, I will put my bow away and take out my fist of cares and my light hammer or my yeah, fist of cares and war hammer. Can we like toss one of these dead bodies in Absolutely. Good idea. Pick up a dead body and toss it in me. Yeah, I'll pick up a dead body. Thirty for the athletics to. <laughs> um, you guys heave ho the body. I got a lot right through there, it thumps. It's oozing. It smells, and nothing seems to happen. As James likes to say. <laughs> Looks clear. <laughs> Looks clear. I say we check it out. So the secret door is behind the rooms. Sorry, I gotta. Yeah. Text from work. Um. Yeah. I'll uh. Gear up and I guess go check out the door as long as he points it out to me. I'll move up with him. Can I try to open it from like the adjacent square? Since, like, which. <laughs> okay, so it's there. I just didn't know if the body lined up with where the door would be, so it seemed as though the body got shot from the door. Yeah, you could open it from there. Opening the door. Yep. It opens to about a 10 foot corridor that ends in what looks to be a wall. Um. I'll peek down and take a look at it from where I'm at. Yeah. Perception check. And I'll peek on the other side. 21. Uh, that. Exact mirrored secret door. Oh, so we know there's a way out of the next passage, huh? Do you want to sneak through this way, or you I'll go? go the long I'll way go put my ear come? to the door. Uh, 19 on the perception to listen at the door. Doesn't sound like anything's moving on the other side. Seems clear. And I'll trip the door. Uh, I'll follow behind him. Okay. I need initiatives from everyone. <laughs> 15. Stanley, 15. Artho. 10. Sprout. 13. <laughs> um, let's see. I got pretty well. I got um, 27. And this thing is going on a 
one, so it's got minus that. All right. And Artho. Mm hmm. <clears throat> You get hit by something you can't see. Oof. There was a, a vague outline of a humanoid form for a short period of time. Uh, but how was it as you got punched? And you take twenty points of damage. Twenty? Yes. <laughs> what is third action? First one was to move up. That is minus two. Six. Okay. Uh, 24 to hit. That's a hit. And that time you take... Uh, only 14 points of damage that time. Only. Ouch. Stanley... Jesus. Arthur's starting to bleed and looks like he got struck by something. Yeah. Um, how do secret doors work? Can I just close them like a normal door? I'm in the way. Right, I understand that. But But yes. Okay. One action to shove Arthur out of my way. So behind me. Okay, so pulling him through. Give me an athletics check. Uh, 21. I'm not that resisting. Beat? Okay. And <laughs> so. then one action to step and one action to close the door. Sprout! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Artho. Um, I'm going to stagger back next to Sprout. So five... 15. Oh, let me change views here. And uh, that's one action. Second action, I dig into my pouch and I pull out a potion and take a drink. And that is a lesser healing. So 2d8 plus 5. Okay. Wow. 8 and 6 is 14, plus 5 is 19. I'm looking a little better. Yeah. <laughs> Over from one hit. <laughs> yeah. And that's all of mine. Sprout. Um, I will go ahead and... Let me do a one action heal on Artho. Two D ten. You said two D ten? Is that what you said? Yeah. No, sorry. Is it from your font? Yes. Two D ten. Because you have healing hands. Okay, so that's ten points. Um, and then I would like to, um, I want to cast Shield Other on Artho. Okay, I like that. Does that give me an AC boost? Boost? Um, no. Okay, you just take half my damage. Correct. Oh, that's pretty neat. But you can't move 30 feet away from me. I'm okay with that right now. Yeah. 
And then Muggsy, because I didn't sort my spreadsheet right, so I had you lower than you should have been. But Yeah, it's all good. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, um, to be honest with you, I was probably going to delay anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I really want to really want to do right now, so I'll just I guess delay. Okay. All right, back to the top. The door opens. And Stanley does a and never mind that that's critical. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Was a thirty-four. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a, a crit. On the bright side, that's only oh twenty-seven god. points. Oh my, god. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, we're yeah. Oh, this TP, TPK is right around the corner. And then <laughs> this door closes. Oh no. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, boy. And uh, that vaguely humanoid outline is right behind you. So can we actually see it, or is it... It's like a, a, a heat shimmer. It's just kind of there for a second, and then it's gone. So can I target it, or do I have to search for it first? It would be considered hidden, not undetected. Okay. So you do not have to search for it first. Um, so is it still occupying that square, technically? As far as you're aware, yes. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, now, Muggsy, it's your turn again. Yeah. Um, fuck it. I, I'm going to go up to the door. And I will um, open the door. <laughs> and uh, do I see the figure in the door? Uh, there is just that quick shimmer that then it fades. Would I be able to... Um, go through it to try to get to Stanley to pull him. You back. could try. I can, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to ask this. Is there anything to actually swing at? Yes. Okay. Well, um, since he is right there and I'm down to my last action, I'm going to just go ahead and try to swing at it with my... All right. Give me a flat D20 check first. Sure. Uh, five. All right. Doesn't matter. Uh, roll just to make sure you don't roll a critical fail. Okay. Uh, I got a... Uh, you mean for my swing... Yeah. Uh, it would have been 20-something. Okay. Three. Yeah. It, you, you weren't able to, to locate it with that swing. Okay. And I missed. That's my turn, I suppose. Okay. Stanley. <sighs> okay, so the heat signature is still in the same spot. The you don't see heat. Well, you said it was like a heat shimmer. It's, shimmer. Yeah, the the shimmer moved right. past you. That door shut. Okay. And then so you still... keep seeing that shimmer here and there. Okay. Um. So can I try to? Do I just have to do a flat DC to try to mark it as my prey? Uh, since it is hidden from you, yes. Okay. So flat DC is only a four, so that's not okay. four. So you don't manage to mark it with that action. You still have two actions. Um, let me just start swinging 
Um, so I'll try a twin takedown on that area. So <laughs> just flat DCs for every attack. Yep. Well, that's a natural one. Good. Okay. Good. That's for the end. That's for that whole action. Whole action, okay. Yep. So then I'll try to swing at it again with my Fist of Kaz. And that's another natural one. We're doing really good. Yep, great. Job. On the bright side... Um... There's a bright side? Go ahead and roll those two D20s for me again to okay. ensure that you, we don't have to pull a critical miss card for you. Um, so, well, I'd have to roll three of them, right? Because I didn't roll. Your first action was hunt prey. Yeah, yeah, three, three d, three d twenties. Right. So Let I mean, me know if you rolled any ones. Three attacks. Okay. So that's a ten. So that'd make it twenty-one. Uh, another ten. So that'd be minus three. So it's eighteen. And the last one's a seventeen plus. So. Yeah. No one's Same on the die. Points. You're good. Sprout, what are you doing? That's dreadful. Hey, come here. Well, Indeed. this is fantastic. Um, I think I would like to say holy fuckballs. Um, You're allowed to say holy fuckballs. Yeah. I want to... I want to cast Bless, which I don't know if it's necessarily going to help, but... You cast Bless. Um. All right, so that is an emanation. And then I can use my third action to sustain it and make it bigger in one Yes. Turn. All right, I'll just do that, please. Artho. <clears throat> there we go. Um... Feeling much, much better now. Um, I will go five, ten, and I know it gets cover, so my flat check is, of course, a natural 20. I have to get that on. And then I'm going to stab at the shimmery thing. Uh... 14 plus 11 is 25 to hit. That will hit. For 7 damage. And my last action, 15 plus 6. It's going to be 21 on the hit, but a 15 on the uh, flat check. So That misses. The 21 misses? Yes. Okay. So normal damage on the one hit. Yep, that was the uh, seven damage. Seven damage, I missed yeah. that, sorry. That's okay. All right, that was your three actions. It's turn. Okay, that'll definitely be a critical hit at a 35. Oof. Is it swinging at me again? Yeah. Ugh. 25 points of damage. Uh, so I take 13, she takes 12. All right. What a... What a plant. Seeing that... What a fucking spell. <laughs> seeing that affect both of you, you're pretty sure you see this thing grin... And that will be a 31 to hit, Artho. Uh, the cover is saving me from the crit. So, yeah. That's still going to be 20 points of damage. So 10 each. As this thing's, the, the shimmering just, you can't seem to get a good defense against it. And then... Third action will hit, not crit, at a 27. 
as the extinction curse dice. Throw them away. Rolled <laughs> 19s a couple of times, that one. And that is maximum damage of 25 <laughs> on that one. Oh, so I take 13. She takes 12. And that's 12. Torch <laughs> falls over, and I am dying one. Artho, dying one. Muggsy. Oh. Well, I'm gonna try to swing or swing away. I guess that's the only thing I can do. So, do my flat check. That's a 13 on the flat check. Roll to hit. I'll be right back. Ooh. You can actually pay attention to this roll. Nice. Mike, have you wanted to rage at all? Just don't want you to forget about that. Um, because you're not fatigued anymore. Oh yeah, you're right. I, forgot. I keep forgetting. To forget yeah. it. Okay. Um, can I take? My, actually, take my first action to go ahead and rage. Please. Yeah. Thank you. I won't even make you re-roll the flat check. Thanks. What, what a guy. guy. He's gonna kill us all anyway. It doesn't matter. Heck yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is a twenty-three to hit. A twenty-three to hit is a miss. Okay. Uh, <laughs> try to swing again. Swing is a miss with a flank? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have a flank. Uh, that actually does hit. Hey, okay. good job. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Holy. I know. I'm like, should we just kill ourselves? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm about to eat a ke- alchemical bomb. I had to uh, remember that this thing's also weak. So its ACs drop by two, and then with the flank, it drops at another two. So that actually did manage to hit. Yeah, okay. weak. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, nine points of damage on that one. All right. Then I'm going to... And some icker splashes against the wall as you actually hit this thing. Mm. Cool. All right. I am going to uh, try and swing again. So I'll make another flat check. Uh that is a 19 on a die. Okay, good. Um, Roll the hit. So, uh, ooh, 18 on the die mm. plus uh, a 25 hit, I think. 25 will hit. Is that including the minus 5 for the second swing? Oh, no. So it'd be 20. Fuck. That will miss. Damn it. <laughs> Last action. You rolled an 18 on your die? Yeah. For that hit? So what's your bonus to hit? Uh, eight. Oh, it's only eight? Okay. Then actually it would be, well, 18 plus eight is, what, 26 26, actually? Then minus minus five is 21. Missed by one with the flank. If only that bless were one square over, you would have (laughs) hit. Uh. <clears throat> on the bright side uh, is the shield other spells over is it yep once you hit yeah, zero yeah. that spell is drop <clears throat> alright what were you doing for your third action I um, I am actually just going to take a step back into the bless circle Okay. You already did your three, though, didn't you? Because you raged. Oh, it's that's right. Oh, Rage right. one twice. Never yeah, mind. Yeah. Sorry. Trying to give you extra actions. I was just trying to save your life. And, and Destiny comes along and well, says, fuck that. Sucker. Right. So for raging, actually, that should be um, a uh, extra hit point for the damage. Is that right? Or is that yeah, you get, like, plus point? two damage on that. Okay, let me... Okay, then actually, instead of nine for my hit, it would have been... Eleven? Eleven. Got it. Yeah. Stanley, it is your action. Oh, well, rock in a hard place. I'm going to go for the hard place. So, um, I'm just going to start swinging again. So, twin take down to start. I'll swing with the war hammer for... Or, Give me your flat check. Fist of Kaz first. Flat check's a 19. All right. Roll well, the attack as normal. Uh, it's a 15 plus 11, so 26. 
for first hit, flat check was a seven. So that didn't do it. And then that hit is a six plus 11 is a 17 minus two. So 15 would have been the second hit that missed. Yep. Um, so Fisticaz is a 1d8 plus four. So that's eight plus four, so 12 points of damage. Ooh, good hit. Uh, um, and then I'll just keep wailing with the Fisticaz because I feel like death is coming and I miss her, even though she's standing over my shoulder, <laughs> kind of weird like. <laughs> good question. Flat checks of 13. Does that hit or no? Yep, you're able to roll. So that is, he's not my target, so it's a minus eight. Minus six. Minus eight. Should be a minus six because it's agile, right? Nope, still a minus eight. It would have been a minus ten oh, if it wasn't because, agile. Because he's not my target. I was looking right. at the wrong one. Um, so that was a 15 and a 11. So that's 26, so 20. Or uh, 18. Which rather. one is? So that is two actions, and I keep missing. Um, I am going to stride to there, hopefully, with my last action. Yep, you are able to stride there. Will you give him a view of that room? Zoom out so we can see what his options are. Did you want to continue your stride at that point? Sorry, I'm trying to play player two apparently. Um, that's a five, ten, so that's twenty foot. I can't move anywhere else. Mm. It's, no, it's no not. longer difficult terrain. Ooh. Okay, that changes where I was going to stride anyways. I okay. thought it was difficult. Nope, that water evaporated within right. 30 seconds of the rain so stopping. Yeah, let me just go 25 straight this way. Just as far back as I can. Five, All eight, right. Eight, Sprout, what are you doing? Um... I'm going to do a two-action heal on Artho. Yep, just do what feels right to you. You can do it. Last font of the day? Yep. Wait, I don't have to roll for that. Do I? I just rolled my... No, you just rolled 2d10 plus 16. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Thirty-two. Very nice. 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 So Arthur's at thirty-two wounded one. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, sustain bless. Okay, so blessed emanation expands five feet. It's like a scary movie. You look like Batman right now. <laughs> All right, so I will see that I am awake again. Um, do I have that? Did my bless get bigger? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> so it goes to a 15 foot. Damn it. Oh, 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 here oh. Oh. Hey, we're super blessed. Yeah, does it just plus one per Multiple blessed? Multiple layers of bless. <laughs> um, sorry, it's still just a status bonus. It doesn't stack. Uh, it Whatever. Stack. We yeah, <laughs> we saw that. All right. Um, I think 
I do. All right, so I can, if I remember correctly, I will crawl. And I can move half my speed, so I'll go 5, 10 to get clear. And then I will stand up for my second action. My rapier is still back there, so I am going to draw my short bow for my third action. Okay. Top of the round, it's got Muggsy. All right, well... Um... Oh no, it's it's hitting you. Oh. Cool. Does a thirty-two confirm critical? Uh yeah. First hit crits. Oof. <laughs> Thirty-eight points of damage as I rolled. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that well. was max everything. Uh. Good thing you got temporary hit points for a second there. Because <laughs> raging, you would have gotten, you know, a couple of temporary hit points. Those are gone now, though. And don't forget, James, I gave you that juggernaut mm-hmm. mutagen. Then, second attack will hit, not crit, with the minus four at a 22. And that's going to be 20 points of damage. And third attack... Does a 20 hit your flat-footed AC? Yes. Don't even roll. I, I'm dying one. <laughs> but I like the numbers. <laughs> 19 points of damage to push you to dying one. Oh, yeah. And rage drops. I drop. We all drop. Drop. Stanley! Stop dropping roll. What are you doing? <laughs> um... This being a cult check to see what the fuck this thing is? No. What kind of check <clears throat> by the monster to recall knowledge? Uh, arcana or nature? Uh, <clears throat> funny enough, as a ranger, I'm better at arcana. Uh, I'm going to try to identify it to see if it has any weaknesses or anything. Hey, that's a 15 on the die, so 23. 23? You're pretty sure this is what's known as an invisible stalker, an air elemental that's really hard to see and does not like mortals. Okay. Yeah. Learn any. Um, immune to bleed, paralyzed, poison, and sleep, <clears throat> and naturally invisible. Awesome. <laughs> All right, that's one action. Second action, I will pull <laughs> out my other jug mutagen and drink it. So it gives me 10 temporary hit points for 10 minutes. And plus two to my fortitude saves. <clears throat> and in doing that, I free action dropped my um, hammer. Yep. Yep. And that's all three actions. Sprout, what you doing? Well, um, this round, I think I would like to... Um, yep. Oh, I... I'm sorry. I need a flat check from you to ensure that you don't keep dying. <laughs> okay. Sure. Why not? Natural twenty. All right. You're you're just wounded one, unconscious. That's good. I saved myself. I would like to cast see invisibility. 
Ooh. My girl. All right. Well, this thing <coughs> shows up like a beacon. Um, just, just to her? Yes. Then. 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 Yep, you see an oddly humanoid shape out of this thing. Okay. Um, Then I would like to cast... um, Just give me shield. Shield on yourself? Yes. All right. Artho, what you doing? Um, all right. Flat check. That's going to be a miss, but not a critical <laughs> miss. Um, flat check. Twelve. Okay, you have an, a chance to hit, but you're shooting at a minus five. Or all is right, it minus so four? Fifteen on the attack roll. That's a miss. And last one is not going to get past the flat check, but I'm fine on the attack roll. Okay. It's turn. Uh, Muggsy, you are now at dying three. Cool. <coughs> And you are dead. Cool. All right. Um, All right. (laughs) And with its last action, It is going to move uh, back into the other room and around the corner since you're shooting arrows at it. So it's going to move to there. Stanley. Um... I'll move to there. 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, well, if I still have line of sight on it from there. If not, I'll move here. <laughs> See, you do not there. So. Okay. Yeah, so I'll move there. Draw an alchemical bomb and yep, throw no an alchemical there. bomb. Uh, hold on, let me delete my stuff here. Okay, so flat check. Is it 16? 14. 14, you're good to attempt to hit it. And then my alchemical. Hold on. Look at my numbers for it. <laughs> Plus one to attack, 2d8. Um, 18 plus my ranged is 8, so 19, or 18 plus 8 is 26. Because math is easy, then 27 because of the plus one. What are you getting a plus one from? Uh, the alchemical bomb. Oh, okay. So yeah, 27 <coughs> will hit. 2d8, 2 persistent. So 5 points of fire damage, and then it is lit on fire. Okay. Sprout. Um... So can I use a free action to tell Artho that he ran back towards Stanley? You can. I'd like to do that. He ran towards Stanley. 
and then I would like to reach into my bag and get out a um, minor healing potion and drink it. Okay. And I don't know what that gives me. <clears throat> minor healing, I believe it's just 1d8. Yep, minor is just 1d8. Um. <laughs> Holy schmickies. You're telling me. Uh, <laughs> so it's only one action to draw it and one to drink it? Correct. You have one action left. Oh. I went to scoot... Um, Fudgers, scoot me. Uh, I'm going to go again. <laughs> where? Where you, where you went down at. Okay. Artho. <clears throat> All right. So she told me it went around the corner, so I'm pretty certain it can't see me. So I am going to sneak with a 30 total on the die. 5, 10, 15. I will draw my dagger. Um, can I see where it's at from where I'm at? You would... Since it's hidden and moved. But what if it's on fire? That doesn't negate its hidden condition. You would actually have to seek it. All right. Let me get my... All right. So I will use my last action to sneak ahead a little bit. Uh, 25 on the stealth. And I'll move up to here so that way I got a better view of the room. And that's my actions. I believe Stanley's next. Or no, not Stanley, but it. It is next. But Stanley has the best view of the room. I hope. And it is flying to there, directly oh. behind you. Okay. Clearly it heard me. It has a plus 14 to its uh, perception. I mean, my DC was only 24. What makes you think it's going after you? True. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's sprout. Is my turn? No. <laughs> yes, it's your turn. Um, well, it's your I'm turn gonna... to get squashed. I'm yeah. dead. Just put Literally. Die. If it hits, you got cover. What does cover give me? What's it give me? I should give you a plus two because it's around the corner, right? Plus two. Oh no! At, sorry, I thought it would. It goes on top of Mugsy. No, it, it's I'm not right. giving her cover. You don't get the plus two. No, you do not. Uh, yeah. Also, <laughs> does a thirty-five confirm ah. a critical against you? <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. You're dying. Not dead. No, I'm dead. Uh, oh, this is the first time she's gone down. 18 well, plus character. 8 is 26. I'm dying. Dying one? Yeah. All right. It's going to swing its third action on you. It moved. Okay. It moved one action, hit with a second action, hitting her with a third action. Three actions. I thought this was the third attack. No, she he only hit her once. 
It just feels like three. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like okay, twenty. <laughs> um. With that, we'll push you to dying three. Okay. As it critted again. On the bright side, I'm not letting the precision damage push you to dead. Wow, you're so thoughtful. I mean, what's the title <laughs> of the episode? Die. We all die. Keep it care, finish. <clears throat> all right. Spence. I'm not even getting to the shoonies. <laughs> Stanley. Um, I am going to free action tell Artho. I don't think it can leave its circle. And then I will... Um, so we safely assumed that this hall down at the south connected these two rooms, right? Uh, that wasn't discussed at all. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go down that way anyways. I will strive <coughs> um, back to where I have line of sight on it. So there, there. If everyone gives me line of sight. Yeah, just go. Yeah, let's yeah let me kill my vision so that way it's clear. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I've also been doing my twin takedown and hunted shot wrong. They have to be my <laughs> prey. And he hasn't been my prey, so I've been hitting him extra. Just heads up. Honestly, it didn't really do anything, so no, I'm not worried didn't. about it. Um, so I will uh, free action <laughs> drop the hand to Kaz. And... Right now, you do not see it. Okay. Because you were outside of line of sight to see it wreck Sprout. Right, so I saw it go that way. Did it yeah, take you, the persistent fire damage? It did take the persistent okay. fire damage, but the fire went out when you assumed this thing must have moved. Okay, so I didn't see it. So <laughs> I will move to there, look for it, not see it. I will still get out my bow, so I will drop my fist. That's two actions. Third action, I will pull a minor healing potion out of my bag that I got from Tristan. And that's it. All right, Sprout, give me a flat check. Yikes. You don't have a hero point. You got a hero point? She no. does not. She used it on your ass. No, I rolled two nat ones. 19. 19, you move to dying two. Woo, go me. And then he's going to hit you. And... Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Artho. All right. Joy. I'm going to spin an action seeking it. <laughs> Uh, 19 on the perception. You do not know specifically where this thing is. Huh. <clears throat> All right. I heard, I heard her squeal in pain though, right? Correct. All right, so I will be sneaky. Uh, 25 on the stealth and five. I can't move through it though, can I? <clears throat> if I don't know, since I... One of those gray areas. It is not incorporeal. But it is air but it also doesn't know you're there. So, yeah, you walk right into it. Boom. Hey, look, there it is. Last action. Flat check. <clears throat> 15. Attack roll. Uh, this is my first attack, so 21. That is a miss. Ah, but now it knows where I'm at. <laughs> it, <laughs> it does. Wow. 
Don't and worry, it's gonna I'm use that knowledge. already working on a backup. And... Like a backup 30, character, or like yes. a backup campaign, or like... <laughs> 30, does that hit your flat-footed critical AC? Flat-footed... Uh, your flat-footed is 19, I believe. Ew. Uh, no, right now, my flat-footed is 18. Okay. Oh, yeah, I on the bright side, the D10 rolled low this time, so that critical is only 20 points of damage. <laughs> nice. I'm still up. Second attack. <laughs> 32. Or again, 20 points of damage. I am dying one. I'm You're dying up. two. Or dying <laughs> two, sorry. And then it'll be a toss up, evens you, odds sprout. And a 24 will not crit. <clears throat> so sprout just goes back to dying three. Oof. Yay. And Stanley, you have an idea of where this thing is. You're not right up on it, so you it's not considered hidden, <clears throat> but you might you think you have the idea that square it's in based off of the fact that you just saw Artho get <clears throat> oh, demolished. And his first <laughs> friend became a statue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was funny. Um, but it's your action, Stanley. So I'm going to drink my minor healing, which is 1d8. I got an 8. I got that going for me. Um, so that changes this to... I can survive maybe two hits from it now. Okay. Um... I really don't know these people well enough. I'm scared of arcane things. I'm going to shoot an arrow at it. Hopefully. So just flat check or do I need yeah, to... Yeah, give me your flat check. Because you, you have an idea of what space it's in. Flat check's 10. <laughs> All right. That arrow roll, make sure you don't roll in that one. I rolled a five, not in All that right. one. All right. Well, that arrow doesn't seem to hit anything. Okay. Um, I'm going to test my theory on it not being able to come out of its square or its little barrier and stride to there the second mark. 25 down. Okay. And that's all three of your actions. Sprout, flat I'm just, check. As I'm just crying. <sighs> Add an eight. An eight? Congratulations, You're Sprout. Dead. You are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Artho, flat check. All right. I am dying three. Stanley, you hear a sound of something hitting meat. <laughs> And Artho is dead. Yep, you know, I'm just still down there at the bottom. James, can you move me? I went south. Yeah, he here. went south 25 feet. 25 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25. All right, so this was that same area. There's more columns there. Um, so I'm just bailing. I'm going to try to leave. So, do I need to stay in the <coughs> or... Let's see. Hmm. 
you are able to go there. So he flees. He does, in fact, flee. Well, whenever I get to, like, fleeing down the halls, we'd already been down where we had suspicions of gelatinous cubes. I don't know how big of a thing it'll be, but I'm going to get my 10-foot pole out in one hand and my <clears throat> pistol jazz in the other. And i um, make it out of here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Am I still in initiative? Because I have another two potions to drink. Are you pausing to drink those? Uh, yeah, if I'm doing initiative stuff, yeah. All right, so one, you're... One's a minor, so I get three more, and then one's my daily regent. So, so a... before you start going down the stairs, you're chugging those? Yeah, so that gives me another eight points back. And are you trying to take the stairs with the the pole out? Uh, I can, I'll, I'll reach, I'll just go down the stairs as slow as I can, reach with the pole, 10 foot, go down slowly. All right, give me a balance check. Um, 24. 24? You are good with that. As you reach the bottom of the stairs, give me a reflex save. As a serious earthquake shakes the tower. 26 is my total for reflex. 26. All right. So you'll take half of that damage. All right. You take 12 points of damage. Okay, so that'll take my temporary, and then two. Okay. And then, as you reach the the turn to head out of this room, your stick touches a cube. <laughs> so he's down a level? I'm yeah, down he's down... Level. Where you ran into the, the gelatinous cube, there's now another one. Oh, down by the secret door? Uh, right there, yep. Uh, give me initiative. Okay. Kite it! Shit. Uh, 19. 19. All right. I saw where this hall went to, right? Yeah, you know which way this hall goes. Okay. Can I have that undarkened so I can try to play this a little bit? Well, you guys didn't map it, so... Okay. You know it's clear. I just ran through it, so... Right. You also also know that... um, there is a spot to the south where the cube will not go. In the back, wall, no bullshit. But with a 20, the gelatinous cube is going first. Ah, fuck me, Rana. And it attempts to hit you with the first action. 21, so I see. It'll hit. Give me a uh, fortitude save. You're good at these. Uh, that jug, which gives me a plus two, so that's a 12 plus 10. 22. 22, you succeed. You only take six points of acid damage. Okay. And then the next one. It is going to engulf you. I need a reflex save. Okay, decent. 12. The 22 again. All right. You 
managed to not get engulfed. Now it's your action. Hey, look. You running for it? Uh, yeah, so... Running around? Me, yeah, let me bail towards Five, the back. 15, Blano 15, bullshit. 40, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Because you can't go okay. through it unless you... Well, you could attempt to tumble through. But if you fail that, that could be bad. That could be real bad. Do you want to try to acrobatics through it? Because if it tries to engulf me, it's what, a reflex save? Yep. So my acrobatics is only an 8. My reflex is a 10. So. It's, well, it's an acrobatics against its reflex DC. So if it has a really low reflex DC, you've got a really good chance. It's a big cube that's kind of slow. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, we're here. So, yeah, let's just tumble through and hope for the best. All right, so that changes how far you get. Yep, yeah. roll that tumble check. That's an 18 on the die. Ooh! Damn! So that's a 26. All right, your first move, you clear 10, it. 20, and then you have... 25. 50 running... 10, 15, 20, He's going 30, south. 30. Oh, going south? Well, no, now since I cleared it, I was thinking the back guano thing was there. I'm just going to try to head for the exit. Because that's the exit, 10, right? To the north? 15, uh, it loops 20, around either 30, way. 30. But you guys Anyways, took out... Down that way. You took out those there. rocks that could have blocked that cube from yeah, following. Yeah, we moved that. that. We moved those. Don't know why I didn't okay. save it. So do you still want to run to where the cube could follow or head to where? The... I'm trying to remember where the last session when we went through there. Because. No, we moved carefully through those. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, so I have to squeeze through, yeah. Because I was going to move it. And then we decided. We had the, to... the long discussion about squeezing through. So next round, you can attempt to squeeze through. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Because I tried to athletics um and we just decided to squeeze so yeah then the cube can't follow me right through there anyways potentially yeah i mean it's jelly other so. cubes on the other side <laughs> <laughs> all right um cube is going to try to follow all right, so there's 5, 10, 15, 25. What's its speed? 15. 30, 35, 40, 45. <laughs> Just out of reach. Uh, Stanley? Uh, so I'm going to try to squeeze through. So that's an acrobatics, right? Yep. 19. Oh. Uh, 27. You managed to squeeze through with 15, one action. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. This cube's going to squeeze through and it's just going to like dissect into three <laughs> coming <laughs> together. Then On they're the gonna plus move side, faster. it's going to have a harder time moving up the stairs than you. <laughs> The cubes don't do well with stairs. Stairs are typically a pretty solid uh, safety net. You Mine's don't see the cube. Out how to TPK us? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. The wheels are turning. Um, I mean, is Stanley gonna gather more people to come back for round three at this place? <laughs> He's just slaughtering him. <laughs> Leading everybody to the slaughter. Retiring and just managing the circus from now on. <laughs> I believe the the end goal is in ten years. He will meet with Devin and try to take over the other circus through scheming and murder, probably. So that's the game plan. So so Stanley's adventuring days is behind him. 
I think so, after watching everyone be murdered twice. It kind of makes it tough on them. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not a TPK, but you get out. <clears throat> I get out. I just feel like that's like a honorable discharge, you know? Right. Like, well, I mean, that's... Completing your tour of duty. <laughs> that's... that's uh, if Stanley's retiring because of the trauma that he's uh, witnessed here. Yeah, he's got some major PTSD. Then he'll never be able to eat Jello again. I know that. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the, the close on book one of the extinction curse. Stanley made it to level five? No. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but Stanley didn't die. <laughs> Stanley is the original, the only survivor, but is haunted by the deaths of his friends. Haunted by his demons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Go. So that is where we will end the video as we discuss what we are going to do. Um, hope everybody enjoyed. We'll see if next week is a new party into this part of the Extinction Curse onward or whatever. Yeah. Have a great night, folks. See you. See you guys. Say bye as I'm waiting for XSplit to catch up to me. And we are done.